these are the locally manufactured structures required as per the site requirements. The first one is the structure for mounting the solar panel and the antenna. This one is the sensor mounting arm. And these are the pole structures upon which the sensor mounting arm and the mount for solar panel and the sensors are kept. These all are the prototypes that are prepared for this demonstration purpose. However, all of these equipments are subject to the real scenario sizes and the recommendations as per the site condition. First, the sensor mounting arm is attached to the top of the mounting pole. So now we are going to fix the wires to the solar panel. Ensure the polarity while connecting the wires. After the cables are connected, set the solar panel to the mounting structure and fix it with the screws. Now fix the solar panel to the structure to mount. Secure it properly with the nuts and bolts. Now we are attaching the antenna mounting accessories to the antenna. Now fix the antenna into the mounting clamp. Fix the antenna and solar panel frame on the top of the mounting structure for data acquisition unit. Now, the sensor is being assembled for mounting it on the sensor arm. Lastly, the cable is inserted through the gland and fixed it to the pipe structure. Fit the adjustable sensor bracket to the sensor holder. Attach the sensor bracket to the sensor arm.
insert the sensor wire through a hole in the arm bracing of the sensor arm. Attach four clamps on the back of the data acquisition box. Attach the data acquisition unit to the sensor arm. Remove the cover of the data acquisition unit box. Place the gland on the bottom of the data acquisition unit. Insert the solar panel cable to the gland at the left and connect it to the solar charge controller. Insert the radio antenna cable through the gland at the middle and connect it to the antenna port on the PCB. Insert the sensor cable to the gland at the right and connect it to the sensor port on the PCB. Ensure the sequence of the cable as blue, red, green and yellow from left to right. Align the solar panel facing to the direction of maximum solar radiation time. Then after, align the antenna such that it is facing towards the receiver antenna. Align the sensor to be perpendicular to the riverbed using adjustable brackets and calibrating with the spirit level. Connect the battery to the solar charge controller. Press the boot button on the solar charge controller. Connect the power connector to the power port on the PCB. Now, observe for RSSI LED to flash which indicates the wireless connection between the data acquisition and data upload unit. Wait for the sample LED to flash, followed by flashing of the transmitted LED. The first measured level must have been transmitted to the DU unit. Place back the cover of the data acquisition unit. Join both the poles with nut and bolts. A foundation base needs to be set beforehand and leveled on the proposed site for erecting the structure. Ensure the leveling of the base plate in the foundation. In this demonstration video, we have structure base frame set to erect the structure for data acquisition unit. The data acquisition unit can be reset by pressing the button underneath the data acquisition unit box. Measure the current water level into the river to, in order to calibrate it with the data 
अपलोड यूनिट सो द करेंट वाटर लेवल इन दिस रिवर नाउ इज टेन सेंटीमीटर्स फ्रॉम द वाटर बेड initial data transmitted by the data acquisition unit may not be accurate as per the actual water level in the river measurement of the depth of water underneath the sensor needs to be updated in the server which will then afterwards be updated in the data upload after the water level value is adjusted in the server the data upload unit updates a correct measurement of water level through OTA restart the data upload unit so it acquires and displays the correct values it will be confirmed after 6y is displayed on lcd